Elias, does it feel good to finally have one of those one timers on the power play uh, go in? It seemed like you were pretty pumped when that puck went in the net. Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I've been, uh, it's been a lot of uh, hitting the post, broken sticks. And I mean, I've been trying to score those uh, for X amount of games now. So I'm happy. I'm happy I got one and tied the game. Um, does it still take some of the wind out of your sails, obviously giving up that goal quickly into overtime? Um, or can you take something from this game and progress forward out of it, taking a, a lesson from how you came back to win at, at the end of the third? Of course, it's a um, strong loss to come back and tie the game. But I think uh, um, we have a lead uh, coming into third. Um, I think we just there's some place that we want back. Uh, we got to be more crisp with the puck. We turned over in a few areas. I was uh, trying to make some plays. I was losing too many puck battles. So, I mean, we, we have the game in our hands, but we kind of let it go. Next up is Joey Kenward. Brandon, maybe just to follow up on what Elias said there, is that a case where with how this game started, it's frustrating not to have come away with two points or based on how it ended that you're happy to have gotten at least a point for your efforts uh, I think just more disappointed not to come up with two um, like you said we started well um, pretty played a pretty solid game all the way through I mean there the PD touched on we had a few uh, a few too many turnover things that uh, kind of fed their transition there they're a pretty quick team on the transition. A lot of forwards that could really make plays and a lot of a lot of plays that through the neutral zone they make. So when you turn them over to them, it kind of makes their job a bit easier. Um, other than that, I thought our game was really solid. Uh, you know, I thought we battled hard. D zone was good. Uh, made some good plays in the offensive zone. It's a tight game. I felt like a playoff game. I mean, it was uh, it was intense. So um, disappointing not to get not to get the points for sure. I think uh, you know we've obviously we we feel it in the room. We know we've been playing better hockey in the last two weeks here. We've been talking about it, but uh, at some point these these moral victories are they don't really count. Um, that sucks. Elias, can you just take us through that first goal of yours, how you saw it all play itself out after taking the shot from your teammate and then having the quick uh, recognition to be able to to beat the netminder with your back to him? Uh, yeah. Um, Miller made a good play to Brock, who um, had a good shot in the slot. So I was just trying to screen, um, screen Hallebach, but... Uh, yeah, hit me in the stomach. I just tried to get the puck quick to to the ice and uh, and uh, bat it in. And yeah, okay, it went home. Next up is Farhan Lalji. I lost both of you guys, Brandon. You just said these moral victories don't count. You've had seven good games and not necessarily a ton of points to show for it. How tough is it to stay with it when you see the math, uh, the, you see the standings, you know where you guys are at right now? Yeah, um, <clears throat> no question. I mean, it's uh, it's frustrating. Um, like I said, we've talked about. It, I think the other day we talked about too far. And just we feel like our game's so much better than we were when we had that kind of that really rough patch. There's a different feeling in the room. There's a different feeling on the bench. Um, there's still a lot of confidence in our group. Um, you can just feel it. So can't hang our heads. Just got to keep going. Um, but like you said, no question, it's frustrating when you play like that and, and don't get rewarded. Um, you know, we sucked a point out, but uh, hey, it's all division games this year. So I uh, got to start beating these teams and um, we just got to get a bit of a streak going. And that's that's also the beauty of it, too. You're playing teams that when you do beat them, you gain points on them every night. So um, we've hopefully we've been through the rough patch of the year and we've got to keep pushing and, and getting better like we are. Elias, same for you. How do you stay positive through it when you're not necessarily getting the results you feel maybe you deserve? I mean, you have to stay positive. I mean, nothing gets come with, comes with being negative. Um, like Brandon said, um, um, uh, hopefully this rough uh, two weeks with the, I think we could have had a lot more wins, but I mean, it's not bouncing our way. It's not uh, going our way, but like you still got to keep our heads up um, and just be ready for the next one. Uh, no need to look back and just got to keep moving forward. We'll go now to Gemma Carson Smith. Hi, guys. A lot of um, penalties in the third period there. What does that do to 
the game? Does it interrupt the flow or the rhythm at all when you've got uh, that many whistles? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just part of the game, I guess. Um, yeah, I thought uh, over the last 10 days here, probably five, six games, our penalties have been down quite a bit. So that's been good. Um, you know, it sucks to take that one on the third, they score on it, but that's uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. And, and then uh, our power play gets one, PD gets one there in the end to, to tie it up. So um, anytime there's power plays, penalty kills, it takes the flow out five on five a bit, but uh, the game felt pretty smooth all the way through up until that point. Thank you.